Hey folks, this is Vince with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to quickly review Salig. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but that's what I'm going with. This is a game that you can find on Steam's Early Access program for about 15 bucks, and I stress Early Access. That means everything that you're about to see, including this review, is subject to change. So what is Salig? Well, first of all, Salig in Old English means blessed, fortunate, prosperous, and happy. This game takes place in 880 AD England. What is this game all about? Well, it's very reminiscent of the Guild series, and that's a series that I'm really, really invested in, but don't get a chance to play it very often. Um, I used to play the Guild way back when, when it actually worked on my computer. Uh, the older versions of the Guild I could never get to, to run anymore, and I have not actually purchased the Guild 3 just because of all the technical issues that I've had with the Guild 2. In the Guild, and in the Guild 2 and 3, and I'm assuming 3, you are typically a nobody, and you start off in this town, and then you get to go make a life how you want. I remember back in the day, and this is 10, 20 plus years ago, um, in the guild, I was in a monastery or abbot or church or something, and I was creating candles and books, and I was hiring employees, creating these things and selling them. Um, I was also able to, like, hold positions of power in the town, and uh, if I didn't want to be, you know, a churchgoer kind of person, I could be someone completely different. I could be a thief, and I could join different guilds, if I remember correctly. In this game, you're doing much the same thing. The game lets you start off as just a regular Joe Schmo with a house and some gold. Um, you can also start as a landlord if you want, business owner, there's a beggar. Um, you get to pick what profession or what kind of start you want. Um, but regardless of what you choose, you can go off from there and do your thing. The game will ask you a bunch of questions. And based on these questions, like, what did your father do? What did your mother do? Um, you'll gain stats and various things to help you, you know, get started. But again, you're not tied down to these things. Like, the, the questions that were asked of me and the responses I chose, um, I had, like, points in, I don't know, leatherworking and, and woodcutting and I don't know what else. But um, I, I, the first thing I did was buy a mine. <laughs> and I bought it with employees. You can either buy it with employees or buy it just without employees. And that spent like 1500 out of my 2000 gold. And I'm like, what the heck am I supposed to do now? Most of my time, the first hour of the game was fighting the interface, trying to do things. Um, once I started to get a hang in the feel for the interface, I, I kind of started enjoying my experience with it. Um, <laughs> My, I mean, in my first playthrough, I worked in the mine till, I don't know, the wee hours of the night. I, st I, I hired it without him. I bought the mine without employees. And then I just worked the mine. I'm like, why should I bother paying people when I can just do the work myself and, and earn money that way? Keep, keep my expenses low. Well, I got sick <laughs> because I didn't eat. I didn't know how. Uh, I didn't sleep. I didn't know how. Um, I couldn't find my house. So uh, my guy is hunched over holding his stomach going super slow and I'm looking at the market and the only herbal drink available is all the way on the other side of the map and he's walking at a snail's pace I'm like you know what so I reloaded I tried a different profession I tried to be a landlord I, I as soon as I started I purchased an empty hut that was like 800 gold or something like that and I set the slider to 20 gold pieces for rent. I don't know what the correct price is supposed to be, having never played before. Like, there was no average. It was just, you pick. So, someone rented that out. So, I was earning 20 gold a day. I'm like, yay. So, I bought another hut. Another 20. So, I'm earning like 40 gold a day. And then, um, I'm not able to purchase any more buildings. So, I'm like, well, okay. Um, how come I can only have two buildings maximum? That's kind of strange. Um, and then I remembered in the tutorial, I'm like, well, oh, so you need a higher title uh, to be well, more well-known with the people in order to have more property. So there's a social aspect to this too. Um, and then I was robbed and I lost a lot of my money. Crime is a very big thing in this game. Every, every playthrough I've ever done in this so far, I've been robbed at least once. Um, and then my third playthrough, I went back to the mine trying again 
Uh, this time I, I knew where my house was, finally. Got, I learned how to get there, and, um, you know, I, I actually bought food from the market, came home. Um, I, I hired, or I bought the the mine with employees, and then I supervised. I, I sent the cart to town back and forth. Um, I, I, you can assign your employees to the cart or assign them to various things in the mine. And you can mine for different things like iron, gold, silver, gems. Each one has their own mining speed rate, gems being the slowest but the most profitable in terms of money. So there's that. Um, but typically it's, you know, it's a game where you can do your own thing. If you don't want to do mining, um, the tutorial has you go through the process of buying this bakehouse and then uh, this this flower area. It's a place to grind uh, like barley or wheat into flour and then you can send that to the bakehouse and make bread and then you can uh, also get a field and uh, build this field up you can farm what you want again hire employees assign them to it you can even upgrade your carts so that you don't have to manually haul them around or have an employee haul them back and forth uh, you can upgrade them to horses but again that costs a lot of money so uh, yeah I mean this is a cool game I, I, I Again, it gives me a lot of the Guild Vibe series. Um, I think the biggest thing with this game right now is the interface, getting used to the controls, um, getting an understanding of what the game allows me to do and what it doesn't allow me to do, um, what the strategies are for making money. Like uh, The game said I could be hired and do various jobs. I was trying to find a way to make money. And there were no job offers anytime I looked. Uh, like on the right hand side of the screen, there's a button that says like look for job. And every time I clicked it, there was no opportunities. So um, I, I couldn't find a job. So I'm like, well, I'm not making money fast enough. Might as well reload and try a different profession, see if it's any better. So um, yeah, there, there's different, like there, you can become an abbot in this game, run a church. You can be a guard captain. There's a grave digger profession. There is that landlord profession I was talking about. You can own multiple businesses and create these supply chains. You can even steal, pickpocket. Um, so yeah, I, I like that the game gives you the freedom to do what you like to do, like in the guild. But um, I think this game is going to be um, dedicated to, or it, it's going to appeal to those who don't mind a learning curve and don't mind spending a lot of time learning the interface and learning the controls. Even with the tutorial, I was sort of at a loss as to how I should get things done or the best way to do it. You know what I mean? But um, it's it's a game that it's not instant gratification. This is a game you're going to have to spend some time to learn and to play, just like the Guild series. So, yeah, if you're into the Guild and you're looking for... You know, a game that's okay. It, it's it's playable. It's but it's got to be warned. It's it's still rough around the edges, and it's not done yet. Um, and it's I think it's a solo developer, so it may take time to hash everything out. Um, if you like the guild though, and you're looking for an alternative, then you may want to check this out for 15 bucks. You know, it's not a bad investment, but I do want to warn you, it's by no means and it's not perfect at all. So just be warned, it's a rough experience, but. Um, it's an interesting one, and I do want to come back to it when it's a bit more developed. If you guys haven't already subscribed to me on Twitch and YouTube, that way you can stay up to date with any new content I happen to publish. This is Vince, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.